ReZero Season 3 has finally been given a release time. I believe that time is October. And you best believe they better, somebody out there better be making a figure that gives us the updated buff to Amelia. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, we have some uh, new ReZero figures to talk about. Well, one in particular, and the one that has already been shown. So we had this uh, Rim figure pop up not too long ago. Uh, I really like this one because it's not too expensive, right? It's less than $100. It's like a $70. Uh, if you get it from Big Bad Toy Store, it's $70 and you pay like $4 shipping. I don't know how much it is anywhere else. That's just where I saw it at. And now, uh, or rather initially, we thought that, or sorry, I shouldn't say we. I thought that there was going to be a Ram figure to go along with it. But it seems instead they've opted to go with Amelia. As we now have an Amelia figure, that's like $73. Uh, the figures look pretty nice. They don't look super detailed, but they are, like I said, cheaper than most of the scale figures from like Good Smile and whatnot. I actually really want both of these. I don't know if I'm going to get them. Probably not. Because I already have an Amelia figure. I have a Rem figure already. So uh, <laughs> it's hard for me to justify getting it, even though I really like the poses. The Amelia is about 3.54 inches tall. Remember, she is sitting down though. So that's pretty good size considering the price. You can see a picture here with her being held in your hand. Uh, I would really like to get this figure, so I'm going to think about it. But I really can't be just be ordering a bunch of figures. Uh, who has the room? Anyway, two figures. I wanted to make a video. These are also made by Mega House, by the way, which I actually didn't realize until just now. They are part of their, uh, I guess they're calling them Melty Princess. I've seen a couple of figures with that name in it. I don't really know what that means, but I think it looks really cute. I might get, uh, maybe I'll just get the Amelia one. I don't know. I really like the Amelia one. Anyway, speaking of lower cost figures, there's also a Al new Albedo figure that looks uh, pretty cute. Or I guess <laughs> maybe cute isn't the right word. Maybe sexy is the word we're looking for here. <laughs> yeah, that one uh, looks pretty nice. It is a bit cheaper as well. Let me see if I can get that price down for y'all. Yeah, and the price on that one is going to be $26.99. <laughs> you know, I said I called it cute and then I called it sexy, but it actually is called overlord desktop cute albedo <laughs> but if there's a figure it looks pretty nice uh, i think it's important to look at these figures that um are a bit cheaper because not everybody can afford the big scale figures and i don't think there's any wrong thing wrong with like these little cheaper figures i think if anything sometimes the little cheaper figures have better poses they may not be as detailed but most of the time you're looking at these figures from a distance anyway and you won't really be able to notice the little problems they have i collect like some uh, pop-up parade figures even though I can afford to get like the more expensive figures but sometimes I just want to have those little cheaper ones because sometimes you don't want to spend like hundreds or hundreds of dollars on them you know anyway, I think this one looks pretty nice in the pictures this one's being made by Taito and Taito has been known to make some pretty good cheaper figures anyway that's all we have for today's video I just wanted to throw something out real fast I am still alive I'm still making content I've just been real busy lately I've also been playing like Dragon's Dogma 2 uh, I've been going through a list of things that have coming out. I think pretty soon we're going to do a collection video soon on something specific. I have a lot of uh, <laughs> merch for a specific series, so we'll probably do something like that. Maybe. Uh, I don't really have any figures I planned for April, but it doesn't mean I won't order something. Also, I've been considering, I'm not saying yes yet, but I'm considering creating diorama. I used to do this a long time ago, and lately I've been kind of inspired to do it again so i'd like to create uh dire i don't really go for real realism with my diorama uh, i like more like fant fantastical type stuff but i'm thinking about making diorama for my like action figures and stuff anyway uh thank you for watching the video have a good one tell me what you think about these figures bye